Pam has driven all her life. But now she's 70, she has to certify that she's medically fit to retain her licence. With more and more older drivers on the road, there have been calls for even stricter measures. Well, it's difficult to legislate to govern driving according to age because legislation tends to be very hard-edged. Chronological age isn't always the best measure of somebody's ability. So, for example, you may find an 80-year-old who actually can drive as well as a 50-year-old. And on the other hand, you may find a 20-year-old whose driving ability is very poor and worse than that of maybe a 90-year-old even. This test is part of a study which calls into question simplistic views of ageing. Just slightly too late though. Too late. Not to worry. Because we believe that some of the components of driving may actually be subject to deterioration, it is important to actually look at older people and to see that their skill and their competence really is up to a safe level. Let's try the next one. Let's have a go at the next one. Judgement of speed is clearly crucial. And which one's the fastest this time? Very good, excellent. So you did fairly well there. You, you got eight out of 11, uh, so just an odd error there. The errors are as informative as what people get right. Very good, exactly on time, that's good. Let's try and stop that car just before it hits the wall, if you can. Oh, crashed at that one. Let's try the next one. Then there's the payoff between accuracy and speed. So your response time was very fast. Now, as we get a little bit older, what we tend to find is that we often take slightly longer with our responses as well. The study probed stereotypes about older drivers. First by asking the drivers themselves. Then the testing begins. Driving is obviously one skill, but it's made up of lots of different components. So what we try to do is to highlight what those components are and then design a test that tests those components. Some of those components may have a ring of familiarity. Try that again if you can. OK, well done. Excellent. Any letter at all? No? OK, well, very well done. I'm just trying to stand up as still as you can. Good, excellent. Very good, super. Try and stand on one leg this time. Super, well done, excellent. Whichever leg you prefer. Excellent. Try and resist the pressure. It's very important to keep older drivers on the road. On one level, it's some people's only means of getting to do their shopping or getting to see a doctor. In other words, it's their only form of mobility. If you take away mobility, it's been shown that it can actually affect people's well-being, not just in terms of their mental health, but also in terms of their physical health as well. OK, Pam, that's good. Lovely, yes. Great. That good. Pam is a product of her individual genes, her oh, health yeah. and her life experience. And again. That's nice. Her fitness and joie de vivre right. may seem unique to her. But she does show the potential of many older people. And for them, a change in society's image of ageing could transform the process as much as any scientific breakthrough.